Hello, today we're going to be installing Battle.net Launcher and World of Warcraft Dragonflight, uh, the new 10.0 patch just released yesterday, and I'm going to show you how to install it on Ubuntu 22.10. Uh, this is a fresh, brand new install, as you can see. Wow, we're on 22.10, Kinetic Kudu, hopefully I'm pronouncing it right. but Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. First things first, you want to launch a web browser. Comes preloaded with Firefox. You're going to go to Lutris.net. Click download. Lutris is the uh, manager that allows you to actually play, um, you know, Windows-based games on an Linux machine. It comes pre-installed with Wine, all the dependencies, all that. So today we're using Ubuntu. Uh, I guess if you have elementary, it's the same process. You just go ahead and click here, the GitHub link. I'm going to go ahead and download this top one here. It's the 5.12 beta. Click on the DEB file. Go ahead and open it. Click software install. Might be a little bit slow. I'm running this in QEMU, KVM, uh, you know, kernel virtual machine. I typically use Arch. So you go ahead and click here, install. You can ask for your root password. Type that in. Okay, it looks like it went ahead and installed. Go here, go up here to search, type in Lutris. Click on it. Give it a second while it checks for runtime update. Okay, now we're in Lutris. We're going to go up here to the top left, click the plus sign to add a game. But instead of adding a game, we want to search the Lutris website for installers. Type in battle.net. Click Blizzard Battle.net. Give it a second here. For some reason, it doesn't pop up. It's back here. So go ahead and click install. You want to read all this. Uh, you know, the Vulkan support for your video drivers. Click install. Right here, directory. If you want to change it, go ahead. I'm going to use the default directory here. Click install. And I'm going to give it a second while it downloads. Now it's installing Wine. It's the emulator for Windows. It allows you to play and open executable files. Exe. As you can see, it's now beginning the installation of everything. Just be sure to Stay up to date reading all this because sometimes it does have instructions if you need anything specific to install. Okay, now the Battle.net installer is opening. Go ahead and select your language of choice. We're in America, so we choose English. Go ahead and update. Okay, again, it's installing it in this directory here. Continue. Okay, go ahead and log in. I have two-factor on, which I highly recommend. So I'm going to go ahead and take mobile device and approve it.
there you have it. It popped up. Since this is a fresh, brand new install of Ubuntu, it has no games installed. I'm going to go ahead and click Close because, again, nothing's installed. Battle.net's going to pop up. When I click on the game I wish to install up here. Same process in case you want to install WoW Classic or any other version. But today I want to install Retail Dragonfly 10.0. You would second to calculate size, make sure you have adequate room. It is a very large game. Okay, it takes 86 gigabytes. We'll click start. And we'll let that download, and we'll come back and check on it. About 15, 20 minutes later, and the download is just now wrapping up. It's slowing down. So, if I click play, see what happens. There it is, all loaded. It's going to look laggy and choppy, again, because we're using the key EMU, virtual machine software, here on Arch. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to drop a comment below. I'll be happy to help. Otherwise, like and subscribe for more WoW videos and other videos on Linux.